Hello everyone. So in this video, I will do problem 8.12 of the book. And um, this problem is just to complete the timing diagram for this circuit. And um, here, what we have in the problem statement is that the propagation delay of each gate is five nanoseconds. So we have to draw the timing diagram for variable V and C with respect to this propagation delay and also the other um, the sequences of other inputs. So what we have to do is to first write the equation for V and Z. So you see that Z is equal to Y and V and V is equal to W or X. Okay, so from zero to nine the, to five nanoseconds, you see that for V, we have W or X, which both of them are zero, so V will remain zero. And Z is equal to Y and V. So Y and V are both zero at this period, so Z will be also equal to zero. Then at T equal to five nanoseconds, what is changing is x, so x is changing to 1. So when x changes to 1, the value for v will change because v is equal to w or x. So x is changing to 1, and we know that v is the output of an OR gate with a 5 nanosecond propagation delay. So it will take 5 nanosecond for the change in x to have effect on V, okay? So at T equal to 10 nanoseconds, which is five plus five, it is 10 nanoseconds, V will change to one, all right? So at the same time, so here at T equal to five nanoseconds, Z, which is Y and V, they're still zero, so Z will remain zero. All right, then at t equal to 10 nanoseconds, both v and y are changing to one, right? You can see that both of them are changing to one. So if y is equal to one and v is equal to one, then z should change from zero to one, but z is the output of this AND gate here. So this has a five nanosecond propagation delay as well. So the changes in V and Y will take five nanoseconds to affect Z. So 10 plus five will be 15. So Z will change to one at equal to 15 nanoseconds, okay? Then um, at the same time, at equal to 15 nanoseconds, we see that x is changing to zero. Okay, so when x is changing to zero, we have to see if anything will change here in v or z. So x is zero while w is one, so v will remain one. So when v is one, then z will be also one because v is one and y is one. Okay, and at t equal to 20, we see that W is equal to zero. So W is changing from one to zero. And X is also equal to zero. So zero, zero, we will have a um, zero for V. So V should change to zero, but after five more nanoseconds. Why? Because when W is changing, W is the input to the OR gate that has the output of V. So it will take another five nanoseconds for um, V to change to zero. So V is equal to zero, okay? And at the same time, if we wanna um, see what Z is, Z is Y and V. So Y and V are both equal to one at this time. So we're gonna have one. And here we saw that um, we changed to zero, okay? So at this time, at time t equal to 25 nanoseconds, v is changing from one to zero, while y is remaining at one. So when 
v is changing to 0, z should also change to 0. Why? Because z is equal to y and v. So one of them is 0, so z should change to 0, but after a 5 nanosecond of propagation delay, then it will change to 0. All right? So at t equal to 30 nanosecond, we see that um, w is changing from 0 to 1, x is changing from 0 to 1, so v should change from 0 to 1, but after 5 nanoseconds of propagation delay, okay? And at the same time, so this is equal to 0, so when v is changing to 1, okay, at the same um, time, y is changing to 0, right? So before that, for example, at this time, from 30, from t equal to 30 until t equal to 35 nanoseconds, z was equal to 0. And then at t equal to 35, z will remain 0 because nothing is changing because y is 0 and v is 1. Okay? Then at t equal to um, 40 nanoseconds, let's see if anything here changed. So um, we have w equal to 1, we have x equal to 0, so 1, 0, so v is 1 and it will remain at 1, and then v is 1, y is 0, so z will remain at 0. All right, so this was the timing diagram for this circuit. And it was all about the propagation delay of the gates. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.